making electric vehicles, electric vehicles, and we know that's where uh, the future of the auto industry is going. But a lot of people still like gas-powered cars, and you can still get them. So we have a couple of well-priced gas pirate options today. Yeah, so today I wanted to bring you four different vehicles that represent what you can buy today. So like over my shoulder right here, this is the all-new Toyota Corolla Cross. And here's what I love. My my first car that I ever drove was a Toyota Corolla. This what? looks nothing like it. This is under $30,000. Oh. It's all-wheel drive. It has Toyota Safety Sense. So that means lane departure warning, front crash avoidance, everything that you want in a vehicle. Wow. But it's that price that I just, I go, man, this is stunning. It looks great. Yeah. It's got leather on the inside. It's a beautiful vehicle, but most importantly, it's that price. And, and it's, what was the price again? It starts under 30. It's right around $27,000. That's incredible, price, yeah. especially right now. I feel like everything's so expensive. They are, and that's what's great is it, you know, this is a vehicle that is, is perfect for this market, right? It's, yeah. It's a really good-looking car, but it's also affordable. Speaking of affordable. Are people still buying sedans? Sedans, baby. Yeah. That's right, yeah. So this is the Hyundai Elantra. This is the limited edition. Starts right around $27,000 and on the inside again, you're gonna see this beautiful, luxurious feel. The screen is something I wanna point out. This is 10.25 inches of digital screen, wow. and it spans from the digital cluster on the left all the way across your front dash right here. And I think that's what makes it amazing is that companies like Hyundai, they're putting so much technology in these cars today mm -hmm. that really make them a standout, but it's that price again. Now, if you wanna start stepping it up, we all know. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Like, if you're looking for for something that you can afford if you're on a budget. This is it. These are good options. Brand but, new too. It's brand new. But if you uh, want to spend a little bit more money, yeah, maybe uh, you've been saving for a while, look at this beauty. Yeah, so it's no secret that sport utility vehicles are really what Americans, they, they really love their big full-size SUVs. And this is an Infiniti QX80, and this is uh, called the Sensory Edition, which Ooh. means it comes with even more luxury on the inside. For your senses? That's is that right. right? I know how much you love the Detroit Tigers, and I think about baseball gloves. Like, this is baseball yeah. glove leather on the inside of this. Quilted seats, big touch screen. Wow. And what, what is great about this, it's a full-size luxury Yeah, you can take the row. whole uh, baseball team in this You truck. can take the whole baseball team. You've got entertainment system on the backs of the headrests right here. Now, your price is going to go up quite a bit, but okay. I, I always bring you the best. This starts right around $70,000. It starts at seventy. dollars okay. Yeah, it starts at about seventy. All right, so this is the one. When right. I walked out here, of course, that turned my head. Not only does it, it looks like it'd be something you'd see at the coronation tomorrow. I was just going to say the coronation, and I May I, I sit for, in her? I, I, I wanted to open the door for you. Oh, so this, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I know. I know. Oh, my gosh. When you walked out, you stopped breathing, and I stopped breathing <laughs> when we looked at this. It's um, So this is a Range Rover. This is the Sport. And uh, here's what's really great about this vehicle. 4.4 liters of V8 power under the hood, zero to 60 in about uh, four and a half seconds, and they limit the top speed at about 150 with Oh my this. goodness. But it's all about the inside, I, Amy. It it's, smells like heaven in it here. Smells what kind amazing. of leather is this? Yeah, so this is semi-aniline leather, super, super soft, one of the highest grade leathers that you can get for a vehicle. And this is all about the epitome of luxury. I can tell you the starting price, but I can tell you the price is tested right here. Which one okay. do you want? Um, let's, this one right here. Here. Okay, so this is about one hundred and fifty-two thousand uh, dollars. One hundred and fifty-two thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, it'll start in the eighties for a Range Rover Sport if you go with the wow. base model. But as you work your way up, and that's what's great, they give you, I think it's four different engine options. So you have that four point four liter that's in this one, but you can also get it as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, oh. which gets fifty miles of electric range. Okay, that's not too bad. I, I think you could buy maybe uh, six or seven cars for this, but this is for you. Like if you are, it's you for know, me. You, you it's it. for you. It's for me. If you've for accomplished. Me. A lot in your life, and you can afford to uh, have this vehicle. Is this new? It's a new body style. Yeah, they right? redesigned their body styles on the Range Rover Sport. Everyone's going to this really kind of elegant look and feel. So you'll see the back end. It kind of rounds down past that B pillar, which is the second window back. Quick question yeah. for you. So we're looking at these gas-powered cars. Let's talk about uh, yeah. the mandate we're all going to uh, yeah. eventually have to see when it comes to electric vehicles and and getting rid of gas-powered cars. Is it safe to buy one right now? Yeah, of course. So by 2032, uh, the federal government has mandated, the Biden administration, is that 65% of all vehicles coming off dealership lots are going to have to be electric. Okay. And so you're going to see, automakers are all moving towards that, but companies like Toyota are taking a very pragmatic approach yeah. to electric vehicles. So they you have options. You don't have right. to buy electric, but, you That's know. right. 
we are headed in that direction. And there's a lot to some, think about okay. for consumers in the marketplace when it comes to electric vehicles, right? I mean, you have to figure out, does it make sense for you? You got to mm -hmm. think about range. You got to oh, think yeah. about those and whether your house is equipped for it, all that, all, all those things. Uh, Mike Caldell, so great to see you. My mind is still like back there in that Range Rover. That's as close as I'm going to get to that. But uh, it's great <laughs> to see you. Where can we find out more information? Of course, ourautoexpert.com. That's where we post all of our automotive reviews on things happening uh, like what we're doing with this Range Rover right here, all the fun stuff in the industry. All right, let's send it back into the